Zero Network, the layer 2 built by the popular crypto wallet Zerion, is hosting an unmissable launchpad campaign over on layer 3, where all participants who complete every single quest could potentially land themselves a huge airdrop from the Zero Network. So, in this video, we'll provide you with a step by step guide on qualifying for the Zero airdrop through the quests that we're going to complete. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Old Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we're officially on the Zero Network website which is Zero.Network We've officially got the X page which is at Zero.Network Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding their protocol and of course the upcoming airdrop Nonetheless my friends, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be showing you how to qualify for the Zero Network airdrop which is built by Zerion If you've never heard of Zerion, it is a popular crypto wallet and they have obviously built a layer 2 network of which is called the Zero Network Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a popular platform known as Layer 3 which many of you may know if you watch our airdrop tutorials If you need a full explanation and a full airdrop tutorial on Layer 3 itself then I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can follow a complete guide on qualifying for the layer 3 season 3 airdrop which is coming out in March of 2025 and to qualify for this airdrop you just need to mint cubes gain XP and just use this platform as much as possible and the reason that we're going to be using this platform is because officially if you go up to the launchpad of layer 3 you'll be able to see that we've got a live campaign from the zero network called race to zero that it started on the November 13th 12 p.m and is now finishing on December 15th 12 p.m Therefore, my friends, we have still got a few weeks to complete this airdrop and there are going to be more quests after this video goes live. However, what you're going to need to do is complete as many of these quests as you possibly can. Now, at the moment, there are a few that are unlocked, but down below we can see that there are some locked ones. It's a cool little user interface, but don't be confused and don't worry, we'll go through all the steps that you need to qualify for this airdrop. So, in the top right corner, first of all, we can see our campaign progress for this launchpad from Zero Network. We are going to start with the introduction. This introduction is going to tell us everything that we need to know about the Zero Network, how to use it, why it's so unique, why it's a different layer 2 and why it's going to compete with the rest such as Arbitrum, Optimism and so on. And then of course it's going to tell us and show us how to bridge over to the network. So, Zero Network is purpose built to make transactions free for users. By eliminating gas fees, Zero offers a dramatically improved UX in Zerion wallet while maintaining self-custody. The vision is to gradually expand free transactions to users of other wallets and applications. Now, Zero evaluates address eligibility for free transactions using a dynamic scoring system called on-chain DNA. This is to prevent abuse and ensure that only real people, not bots, get free transactions, while for users, gas fees are abstracted away. Starting today, eligible Zerion wallet users can use Zero Network with full gas fee sponsorship for their transactions. Absolutely awesome, guys. This is a unique utility for the Zerion wallet and Zerion users. Continue. Time for a quiz, so you just have to answer some questions based on the things that you read. Here you just have to choose which one it is, and it is the ZK rollup built by Zerion to make transactions free for real users. What is the name of the cyber protection? It is on-chain DNA. Continue. Which of the following should be possible on Zero with your Zerion wallet? Send USDC for free, bridge from any L2 toll-free, and swap tokens even with an empty tank. All of the above. Continue. Bridge to zero. Bridge your funds to zero to ensure you are able to mint cubes and transact. Bridge at least $25 worth of ETH. Note, you'll be able to verify if you already have funds on zero. So we click open bridge. Now this is obviously where we're going to transfer tokens from one network to another. Now the good thing is guys is that you don't just have to use the Ethereum network to bridge over assets. We're going to be using the Relay Bridge which enables us to bridge from multiple networks including Layer 2s and Layer 1 blockchains of which you can avoid the hefty gas fees that come from Ethereum. So, for example, if you wanted to use a popular Layer 2 such as Base or if you wanted to use a popular Layer 2 such as Arbitrum or Avalanche, whatever network that you want to do guys, it is entirely up to you. But for the sake of the video, let's just say we did a popular layer 2 such as Arbitrum. This is a very cheap network and the first thing that we're going to do is connect our wallet. 
Whichever wallet you use, guys, it's entirely up to you. But remember, you can make the most out of this airdrop by using the Zerion wallet. If you use the Zerion wallet, guys, not only are you going to be eligible for the free transaction straight away, but you're also going to probably get yourselves a bigger airdrop because I personally believe that Zerion users of the wallet are going to get a multiplier for using the Zero network. And for users who are using MetaMask or Phantom or any other EVM compatible wallet will not qualify for that multiplier. And it could even potentially be an eligibility requirement. Who knows, but obviously in my opinion, I believe that Zerion wallet users will get a bigger and better airdrop. So if you have a Zerion wallet set up, or if you wanna set one up now, now is the time to get started. However, I'm going to be using my MetaMask wallet because this is the wallet I use to connect over to layer three and the wallet I use on a daily basis. So after I've connected my wallet, we're gonna see that we've got 0.02 Ethereum on the Arbitrum network. And I can confirm in my MetaMask wallet that is roughly worth $71.69. They recommended that we send over $25 worth of ETH because we are going to need to pay for transactions and interact with their network. Nonetheless, what we're going to need to do is, guys, we're just going to need to choose an amount that we want to bridge over. Whether or not it is more or less than $25, it is entirely up to you how much you deposit. Obviously, the more that you do, the better off you will be and the bigger the airdrop you will most likely receive. So what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to be now bridging over as much Ethereum as we want over to the Ethereum network. And let's just say, for example, I sent over $41.43. That is going to be 0.012 Ethereum, of which is going to enter the Zero network. After I click confirm, we are going to have to confirm the transaction, of which is only going to cost a few cents in fees. I click confirm. I must now confirm it on my Trezor device because this is the hardware wallet I use. After I've confirmed it, we will now have to wait a short time before the tokens are in our wallet. But as you can see, it was a successful swap and went in a matter of seconds. Absolutely awesome. The relay protocol is wicked. Now, if we go back over to layer three and we click verify, boom, it knows that we have already bridged over our tokens. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to follow zero on socials which we've already done so on x at the beginning of the video and as you can see we're just going to click verify and next visit zero's website get an understanding of what they are we've already been here as well come back you click continue and voila that was the introduction to the zero network now if you haven't got the zero network in your wallet which you most likely don't because we are brand new to this network we are going to switch to the zero network it's going to do this automatically and we won't have to add any of the information into our wallet manually as you can see, we've got the name, we've got the network URL, the chain ID, and the currency symbol. If you approve it, you just click the approve button in MetaMask, and very simply, we are now going to switch over to the Zero network, where we can confirm a transaction on the Layer 3 platform. So, guys, I don't know if I have to remind you, if you are new to farming Layer 2 airdrops, what you want to do is stack up those transactions. You want to interact with as many smart contracts as possible. Guys, play it safe. However, these are the sort of things that we want to accomplish in order to get a nice airdrop from Zero Network. So I'm just going to mint my cube over on layer three of which I'm going to get a nice cube and I'm going to get 125 XP. So not only are we qualifying for the Zero Network airdrop, but like I said at the beginning, we are also qualifying for layer three. So it's a two in one for both of us. Fantastic. Now that is the first quest guys. So back over to the launch pad. We have already completed the introduction. So from here, guys, you very simply just pick all of the other quests to complete. We've got roughly 13 here that are available right now and that we can do those during this video if we wanted to. In the top right corner, we can see our campaign progress of which we've just earned 125 for introducing ourselves to zero and bridging over to the network. So from here, guys, the world is your oyster. Start choosing all the quests that you can do. Let's start from the top left corner, for example. I've never seen this logo, but this is JVMI. JVMI is a San Francisco-based semi-pseudonymous digital artist and developer whose path to crypto art began with coding and graphic design. Known for his top-selling Swatches collection on base, JVMI merges technical skills and digital artistry to create interactive generative NFTs. Continue. Influenced by generative pioneers like Snowfro, he aims to push the boundaries of Web3 by crafting art built specifically for online and interactive experiences, cementing his role as a significant voice in the evolution of digital art. Cool. Time for a quiz. Now you have to put your knowledge to the test. What is JVMI primarily known for in the crypto art space? Generative NFT collections. Fantastic. San Francisco, continue. Which pioneering artist in generative art heavily influenced GVMI's work? Snowfro, continue. Which collection is JVMI known for? Swatches, continue. That was the quiz, very simple and easy. Now we have to follow JVMI on X if you want to anyway. 
I'm going to do so because I'm going to give him the support that he deserves. So I click follow, we come back, we click verify. Next, we have to visit the website and we can also visit the OpenSea collection of the infamous swatches. This is his website. If you want to go and take a look at it, guys, it's entirely up to you. Nonetheless, if we come back, click continue. The next step is to mint the JVMI commemorative NFT on Highlight, an NFT platform which is going to be on the Zero Network. So if we open up Highlight, as we can see here, we've got the official NFT from JVMI, which is the Zerion NFT. So if we click sign in, first of all, you can choose OKX, sub wallet, whichever wallet, but I recommend obviously choosing the same wallet that you're using to farm for the airdrop of the Zero Network. Once you've signed the message, you are going to be connected. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to very simply mint this NFT. We're going to mint one, it's going to pop up in our MetaMask and it's going to cost us roughly $2.80. So if you did put in roughly $25, that is roughly 11% of how much you've already put in. And this is one quest that we've already completed. It is now going to reveal our artwork in a second and voila, we have minted the Zerion NFT. So if we now go back over to layer three and we click the verify button, Bang, layer three recognizes that we minted the NFT. And again, we've got a cube to mint and 175 beautiful experience points. So I'm going to click mint cube to claim. Going to confirm it. After that, we're going to see that the cube will be minted and entering our wallet. And then once again, guys, we are going to continue with another quest. So going back to the launch pad, you see where I'm going with this, guys. You very simply want to complete as many as possible. And for those who don't know, we actually qualified for the ZK Sync airdrop. So it's very nice to see ZK Sync partnering up with the Zero Network in this campaign. But as we can see here, we've got the brief information about ZK Sync, what it's all about. Then it's going to once again give you a quiz. ZK Sync is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. Correct, continue. What is the elastic chain by ZK Sync? A united multi-chain ecosystem of ZK rollups. Fantastic. The elastic chain is designed for users to be low cost, easy to use and secured by math. Continue. Follow ZK Sync on X, which if you don't do that already, guys, you can come over here. And as you can see, we're already following them because we were qualifying for their airdrop. Nonetheless, we're going to click verify. And again, we need to now mint a ZK Sync commemorative NFT on highlight, but on the Zero network. So once you open up highlight, you're going to see that ZK Sync and Zero have worked together. And we're going to now mint their NFT to support the networks once again. This time, we just need to see how much it's going to cost. It's going to cost $1.30 cheaper and a total of $1.43, including the gas fees. Now, once I've minted this NFT, it is going to recognize it back on layer three. And I'll show you that right now, just as we've minted this NFT, come back over, click verify and boom claim the rewards once again. This time we're gonna get a cube and only 100 XP. A little bit less, but still very nice. Click mint. Once again, we are going to confirm the transaction in our wallet and boom, now what we have to do is obviously move on to the next quest. So guys, we've officially completed three quests on here. We have now got 400 XP and there are just so many other ones that we can complete. So for now, I'm only going to pick out a couple more within this campaign because I believe you'll be able to do it very, very easily all on your own. So from the get-go, guys, what I want to do is I want to do the layer three one because I think it is honorable to do the quest of the platform that we are using. So if we do layer three, race to zero, layer three cubes are now available on the zero network. This one is extremely easy to do. And all we're gonna do is very simply mint the layer three commemorative NFT on highlight. Only active mints on zero network count. Previous mints will not count towards verification. Bear that in mind, but that is very simply not associated with us because we were not there before. So as you can see, 18,340 of these NFTs have been minted and we are now going to be the 18,341st participant. So if I click mint, boom, once again in MetaMask, this time it's going to cost us $1.43, just like the ZK Sync one. Going to confirm the transaction and boom, off we go. We have minted that NFT once again. We come back click verify and this time we are going to claim ourselves 150 xp and another cube click mint cube and once again guys that is another completed quest so you can see how easy it is guys we are literally just completing as many transactions we are stacking up that volume we are stacking up those fees all on the network in order to qualify us for the zero network airdrop so guys Coming back over, if we go back over to the launch pad once again, I'm going to pick out the last and final quest. This time, let's pick out a native one. We have got the Zero Network logos down here, of which I'm going to pick a random one. Race to Zero. Why use Zero? Well, Zero Network sets a new standard for crypto. It gives you a brief explanation as to what it is. Combined with the Zero Network, Zerion becomes far more than just a wallet by removing gas fees from the equation. 
Fantastic. We've already bridged to zero. So we can complete this by clicking the verify button and bang, guys, you can very simply just mint your cube and claim that XP once again. It's going to cost 34 cents. So I'm going to confirm it in my MetaMask wallet and voila, that was that. So guys, you can see where I'm going with this. I'm just going to very simply pick the last and final one just for the sake of it because of how quick the other ones were. Let's just say we chose the Dodo exchange. Here guys, it tells us Dodo is a decentralized exchange and very soon we'll be able to swap tokens on the Dodo Dex on the Zero Network. Now, if we continue, it tells us to bridge to the Zero Network, which we've already done. And this is an optional quest, so you wouldn't have to do it again. If you click verify, you now have to take the quiz to understand what Dodo is. It is a decentralized trading protocol. Continue. Which of the following networks is supported by Dodo? Ethereum, EVM Layer 2s, Bitcoin Layer 2s, all of the above. Continue. Which feature from Dodo provides highly capital efficient liquidity pools, mitigates impermanent loss and reduces slippage during trades? We have got the proactive market maker algorithm. Continue. Follow Dodo on X if you haven't done so already guys, give them a follow and then we can come back over to layer 3 and then once it unlocks we can click the continue button just like so. And very simply, once again, guys, we just have to mint an NFT. We're not having to swap any tokens at the moment on the Dodo Dex because I don't think it is live yet all on the Dodo Dex for us to swap on Zero Network. However, the main purpose of this quest is to very simply mint this NFT and reap those rewards. Guys, this is a very, very simple and easy airdrop tutorial. The more of these NFTs that you mint, I don't think you'll have to mint three of the same ones. However, if you want to stack up the transactions and become the most loyal, earliest user of the Zero Network, minting these cubes and minting these NFTs, guys, is only going to do you wonders, in my personal opinion, if you are trying to farm the Zero Airdrop. Now, we can come back over to Layer 3, we can click Verify, guys, once again, and just showing you how easy it is, we are now going to mint our cube and claim 175 XP. And we can go back over to the launch pad and have a nice overview of what we've done. So in conclusion, my friend, coming back to the Race to Zero launch pad campaign, we can see that I've completed six quests. I've completed these two over here. I completed the introduction to zero, and I also completed the three on the right. I've also got a few more to do, guys, and I'm going to do that in my own time. As I believe from here, you're going to know exactly what you need to do in order to complete these quests. Go through them, answer the questions from the quiz, and of course, mint those NFTs if you wish, because those are going to be the qualifiers for the airdrop, and of course, to maximize the launchpad campaign. Now we can see in the top right corner, I've got 850 experience points. This is fantastic, guys, because in conclusion, we have actually made great progress on the Layer 3 platform just by completing all the Zero Network quests. Now there are so many more, and this is going to level us up, it's going to increase our cube count, so by the time Layer 3 Season 3 is over, Hopefully, guys, we have got way more cubes and way more XP because we're going to have so many more zero network quests and many other airdrops to complete, of which are going to be found on layer three. Guys, I absolutely love the layer three platform. And if you need a link, I'll leave it linked in the description below. It is entirely optional if you want to use layer three at all times, guys. But this is a platform that I use regularly to farm crypto airdrops and it has only done me wonders. Now guys, like I said, another thing, by using the Zerion wallet, I personally believe you are going to get a bigger and better multiplier. So bear that in mind if you want to use the Zerion wallet, if you want to qualify for an even bigger airdrop. So, ladies and gentlemen, on our YouTube channel, if you want to check out other crypto airdrop tutorials, we've got over 162 to choose from. We've got Multiply, Sonium, Lens, Etherlink, Stable, Layer 3, Chainbase, Eclipse, Shape, Abstract, Flowex, B3, Hyperlane, and so, so many more, and many more to come. So make sure you've hit that like and subscribe button, you've turned on those notification bells. It really shows support on our channel, guys, and it really takes us up to the next level so we can provide more and better content for you. Guys, we can't appreciate you enough, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. But before you go, whether you're new or experienced in the crypto world, if you're ready to harness the true power of Web3, it's time to try the OKX wallet. Imagine exploring over 80 networks and seamlessly managing all your crypto assets all in one place and fully in your control. With OKX, whether you're on desktop or mobile, you will get access to margin and derivatives trading, an NFT marketplace, a Web3 wallet and so much more. From trading and sending to interacting with your favorite decentralized applications, OKX wallet is designed to make your crypto journey effortless and exciting. Ready to dive in? Click the link below and take control of your Web3 experience with the OKX wallet today.